Hi everyone, Jamie Oliver here. The Ministry of Food, with the support from the lovely good guys, is all about keeping cooking skills alive and it's about inspiring people to get back to basics in the kitchen and start cooking meals from scratch using fresh, seasonal, local produce. One of our Ministry of Food trainers is now going to give you some brilliant tips and hints and is going to show you how easy it is and how easy it can be to make quick, affordable and tasty meals for you and your lovely little family. So enjoy it and I'll see you later. Hi, my name's Ashley and I'm one of the food trainers here at Jamie's Ministry of Food Australia. Today, I'm going to share with you some gorgeous tips on how to make Jamie's meatballs with pasta. Meatballs are fantastic and they're great the way we're cooking them today with a fresh homemade tomato sauce, but you can try them other ways, perhaps some rice with some mashed potato. I love polenta and my favorite, big chunks of crusty bread. I like to make meatballs with a mixture of both beef and pork mince. I find it gives it a lovely rounded flavour and a gorgeous texture. Let's get started with the meatballs. We're going to wrap our crackers and smash them until they're nice and fine. Then we're going to add them to the mixing bowl with the mustard, minced meat, our chopped rosemary and oregano. We'll crack in our egg and add a good pinch of salt and pepper. Jamie's tip number one. Wet your hands before you start rolling your meatballs. This will stop the meat from sticking to your hands and make life a lot easier. Creating your meatballs is really simple. Divide the mix into four large balls. And then with your wet hands, divide each ball into six and roll into little balls. You should end up with 24. Jamie's tip number two. Double the recipe and make 48 meatballs and then freeze half, either before or after browning them off. And that way, the next time you feel like Jamie's meatballs and pasta, half the work's already done. Drizzle the meatballs with a little olive oil and then give them a toss to make sure they're all nice and evenly coated. Add your pasta to a large pot of salted boiling water. In a large fry pan, we're going to pop a couple of lugs of olive oil and then add in our onion, chili, and garlic. Once cooked, we want to add our basil leaves, our tins of tomato, and then two tablespoons of balsamic. And we're going to bring it to the boil. Meanwhile, we need to cook off our meatballs in batches until brown. Now our meatballs are done, we're going to add them into our sauce and let that simmer until our meatballs are lovely and tender. Jamie's tip number three. Pasta sauce can be either chunky or smooth. If you prefer it smooth, then simply whiz it up in your blender. But make sure you give it a chance to cool down first. So there you go guys, some awesome tips on how to make Jamie's delicious meatballs with pasta. So why not give it a go, it's so easy. And don't forget to hop on to the Good Guys blog for the full recipe for Jamie's meatballs with pasta. I hope you enjoyed those cooking tips. Keeping cooking skills alive is so important and you too can help by passing all of these cooking tips on to your friends, family, kids, cousins, neighbours. Pass it on, please pass it on. Check out this and our other recipes online and stay tuned for more. Lots of love.